Hot, hot in the big city. That's going to be the story, and that will prevail uh, for Thursday, Friday, into the weekend. We make this graphic, and we do it with certitude. We know this is going to happen, and you're going to have to be very careful. Uh, in 10 minutes, your car with a temperature reading of 93 degrees can go up to 119 degrees in the car, even if the windows open, makes no difference. 20 minutes, 122 degrees. So please be aware this is one of those deals where we reinforce the message because it's right for the moment, actually for Thursday and Friday, the moments that will be so hot around here. Uh, for tomorrow, we're going to be in the 90s. These are real temperatures, 99 in Plainfield, 96 in Princeton. The city should be in the lower 90s. You could see for tomorrow, you're going to be in the mid-90s up to the north, and the beach area is always the best spot to be. The heat index tomorrow is going to be the big story, okay? It will feel like 98 degrees here in the city. Uh, if it's 96, or 97, who cares? I mean, that's the message. It's tough. And even west of the city, you could break a record like in Newark. Uh, you can see the skies generally are clear, but embedded in this is the southwesterly flow of air. And with the southwesterly flow of air, the humidity is going to climb, the temperature is going to climb, and the leading edge of a front is going to try and move on through. We think most of the action around here in terms of scattered showers or a thunderstorm will not occur tomorrow. I think it's on Friday, though an isolated thunderstorm not out of the question. As the front gets closer, the squeeze of this humidity and the heat index will occur. So look at Thursday and Friday. Saturday and Sunday, scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm. Next week, again, we'll make it a little better in terms of humidity. But the next 48 hours, rough.